on the program, which in actual fact is the fifth race on today's card, is the Codrington Handicap, over a distance of eight furlongs for the F2 and lower three-year-olds and over. Here we have a field of 12 entered, but there's one withdrawn horse number five, first gem, leaving 11 horses to face the starter. Field of 11 good F-class horses. We join Mike Goddard for the commentary. Light flashing. Any moment they should be on their way. If they're off and running, a pretty level break. Um, on the inside, Kamag showing speed towards the outside. Tax 3 came out quite quickly also. But as they come racing down the home turn, it's Kamag leveling out in front towards the outside. Tax 3 going up to join him. On the inside, Boalele tucked in. On the outside comes Give Me A Break. Even wider comes Crowning Glory pulling hard for her head. Past the stands for the first time. And it's Kamag settling down in front from Tax 3 being hard held. Then comes Give Me A Break on the outside. Tucking on the inside comes the grey Boalele. Then there's El Caballo, Crowning Glory going up on the inside, Diamond Day. Behind them and then towards the inside comes River Native going up. Then comes Quick Step and the last one up this stage is Crimson Bow. Up towards the four furlong marker they go and it's still in front. Kimag and Tax Free disputing it and give me a break going up nicely on the outside to join the leaders. Uh, on the inside the favorite Boilerle is still going well. Tarquin has made up some ground and he's there or thereabouts. Up the hill and towards the three furlong pole. Three and a half to go. And it is now Tax Free who slips into the lead. Give me a break. Tarkin on the outside. Kamag has gone back to third position. Boilerly going beautifully on the outside. Also there with a gut chance and going nicely on the outside is Tarquin. As they come back towards the drill hall, it is still Tax Free in front. Give me a break. Challenging strongly. Towards the outside. Diamond Day coming with a run. And Boilerly with a run as well. As they come back to the two furlong pole, it is still Tax Free. Tarquin wide on the outside. Boilerly there with a chance. Give me a break with a run also. And to come towards the home turn it's four in a line on the inside diamond day picking it up towards the outside um still tax free there on um, drifted on the pressures boilerly inside the final for long and it is diamond day and boilerly right in the middle of the track it is diamond day and boilerly diamond day seems to be going to better boilerly tried desperately won't get there in time diamond day wins it from boilerly then tax free is third kimai five or six lengths back to um el caballo tarquin river native give me a break Quick step and the last one, Crimson Bow. No, even further back, we've got one more coming. Crown in glory. In a moment, we'll have a result for you. And here comes the winner, being led in by the entire Ken Hamlin clan. He's got his daughters, he's got his wife, and uh, Diamond Day is very pleased with the whole exercise, taking it in very cool style.